<laughs> oh. Oh. The skeptics are trying to get ahead of uh, Cancergate. Yeah. See how uh, Shoe on Head is making nice with uh, Ethan Ralph? Yeah. And Ethan, right, where he's in this, uh, let's uh, delicately call it a, a, a transitional phase. <laughs> you know, he needs all the friends he's got, right? So he's not going to swat away uh, Shoe on Head's uh, helping hand. But uh, yeah, Shoe on Head. The Armored Skeptic, Sargon, V, all these fucking, fucking pathetic little bottom feeders, right? They're going to latch on to uh, Cancergate. The only guy who did it in style, who talked about this whole Cancergate situation and, and uh, Ethan Ralph's deplatforming, the only guy who talked with, about it in style and class and decency is, of course, Teal Deer. Ah, uh, you gotta love the, the the neon Bambi, you know, I love the guy. He's just terrific. He's a decent guy, straight shooter. He's just aces in my book. And he's the only one who did a video about the situation. The first video, the best video, about the situation with uh, Ethan. That was, you know, honest and decent and true and principled. But all the other fuckers, they're going to glom on to Cancergate, right? For their own little bids at relevancy. Oh, God. You know, like about the whole issue with Ethan, you know, him getting deplatformed and uh, Ralph Retort getting showed by that fucking cunt over at the Wall Street Journal. I don't have anything in intelligent to say about it, so I'm not going to do any video about it, okay? What the fuck am I going to say? I'm going to say, yeah, this is, is really shitty. This is really fucking low. And, you know, <laughs> what else? What the fuck else could I possibly say, right? Right. I mean, come on. But no, all these skeptic fuckers, they're going to feed off of this shit. You know, trying to hold on to that relevance. Trying to be somebody. Oh, Man, I fucking hate those fuckers. I hate those fuckers because they're so fucking dishonest. See, it's not that they glom on to it because it's, you know, the fashionable thing. It's not that they glom on to it because, you know, they're, they're not smart enough to come up with anything on their own. No, no, no. They're glomming on to it out of cynical motives. That's the thing. That's the thing that pisses me off. Because if they were glomming on because they're stupid or unoriginal, that'd be one thing. And you know, being stupid, it ain't your fault. And being unoriginal, again, you know, somebody who's lacking in talent, it's not their fault. But somebody who is cynical, cynicism is a choice, you know, like autism. You know, autism is a choice. I firmly believe that. You can be an artistic buffoon, autistic buffoon rather, or you can uh, choose to be like a normal human being. Ditto with being a cynical fuck, like these fucking people are, like these fucking skeptics are. They're cynical fucks and they're gonna glom on to Cancergate and they're going to, uh, you know, pretend to care about the children at St. Jude's. They don't give a fuck, they don't give a fuck about Ethan. They don't care, give a fuck about anything about their, except their fucking views. They are so fucking low. Such people of such low moral character, right? I'm going to keep quiet about this because, like I said, I don't have anything intelligent to say about this situation. I wish I did have something, you know, like really clever and insightful, but, you know, it's just fucking wrong that this fucking cunt over at the Wall Street Journal just totally ruined uh, the Ralph retort. The Ralph retort was like a good show. I liked it, you know? And I firmly believe that Ethan has what it takes to go and be like in the big leagues. And the fact that the fucker was able to bring over 6,000 viewers to his D-Line stream when he did it on, on, on that new platform, D-Line or whatever it's called, the, the blockchain streaming i personally don't know how the fuck that that actually works but it doesn't matter it fucking you know it's like a magic box that works well yeah sure d-line had some flaws and it dropped a few times and what have you but i bet that that's going to become ethan's new home and uh it's going to draw a lot of attention to d-line good on them 
And the fact that uh, the quote-unquote Ralpha males, that, that's kind of gay now, isn't it? But anyway, the Ralpha males who flocked over to D-Line as soon as they heard that uh, Ethan was on that. Yeah, what's that tell you? Loyalty. Brand loyal. That's what Ethan's got. He's got brand loyalty. You, you cannot buy that, okay? I mean, um, IBM tried it. Microsoft tried it. Every big soulless corporation has tried to buy that kind of brand loyalty, but only a few have it. Apple has it. You know, uh, who else has it? Tesla has it. Ethan Ralph has it. He's got brand loyalty. He's got NASCAR kind of loyalty. The Ralph males, gay as that may sound, they're going to show up whenever uh, Ethan's streaming, okay? Ethan, if you're watching this, that is fucking priceless, okay? Keep doing what you're doing. Hop over to whatever platform will have you and uh, don't worry about your audience because your audience loves you and they'll follow you. Fuck it. I guess I'm a fucking Ralph a male faggot because as soon as I heard that uh, Ralph was on this uh, D-Line platform, I went to check it out. Of course, because I wanted to see the son of a bitch. Because I like his show. I like his content. Everybody does. Okay? So Ethan's going to do fine. And on top of that, Ethan's a hustler. He's a hustler because I think that that time in prison that he spent, the, what was it, eight, nine months that he was in prison or jail or whatever the fuck he calls it. I, he made the distinction between jail and prison. I don't, he gives a shit. You know, he was, uh, he's a convict, right? But I think that those months for him are going to retrospectively prove to be the most important of his life because I'm telling you guys that because of that event, Ethan is never going to take any opportunity lightly, and he's always going to take care of those opportunities and do right by the people who stand by him, okay? Ethan's going to do fine. Ethan, I have full faith in him. Um, but these fucking cynics who are glomming on to his situation and Cancergate and all that, uh, you can already see them. You can already see them trying to glom on to this thing. <sighs> Hateful people. Yeah, hateful, hateful people. But they're dying off now, aren't they? You know, Kraut is just irrelevant. I mean, shit, the distributors made a video about uh, Kraut's last video on the Japanese imperialism. And did you know that distributors, who's got a tiny, tiny little channel, his video, his response video, got more views than Kraut's video? <laughs> How humiliating is that? And every time that Kraut posts something, posts a new video, he loses subscribers. And the new view, uh, videos get fewer and fewer views. And David Shitrat, well, David Shitrat is just becoming a complete joke. You know, hitting on shoe on head of all people, or wig on head, as you should call her. You know, hitting on wig on head and then pretending like, uh, like he hadn't hit on her and then getting all outraged that wig on head was uh, supporting Ethan. You know, like, why are you defending him, my lady? I always loved you. Ah! Fucking shit rat faggot. <laughs> They're all, all sliding into irrelevancy. Yeah, yeah. And that's just going to lead the big poobah at the end. And when he's all by himself, all in his lonesome decaying, then, then, then you're going to see something special. You wait. Mm-hmm. It's going to be wonderful. 